inexpensive accent piece for your home, but it's made from um, <laughs> mm, a Pringles can. There was actually some left in there. What? I was going for the joke, and I have Pringles in my mouth right now. Ken Wingard is here to show you how you can make your own pebble vase, really, with the Pringles can. That's my new thing. Really? It's like, yeah, if you've got all these junk food containers laying around my house, I'm turning them into crafts. I don't know if I should go down that road or not, but uh, <laughs> what do we need to do this? So you can really, uh, a Pringles can or any sort of can. I also got mm. just some plain old soup cans. Mm. Um, rocks, and we just used what was already around um, the house. This is pea gravel. Uh -huh. um, this is some white stone and just your standard garden river. But these are flower. How do you, this is like cardboard. Like so, this, will, this yes. will get all soggy, won't it? If you're using cardboard with a tin can, you don't have to yeah, worry about this. There are several products available. Here's one called Flexible Sealer that you use for like inside your rain gutters. And you spray this. Go ahead and give the sprinkles okay. canna. And it'll basically be a rubber coating. Just go to I'm your hardware in, store. In right. Oh. Yeah. Spray it on, you let it dry. Uh, I'd give it a couple of coats. Yeah. Um, and that's going to basically turn any sort of cardboardy. If you use one of the, the Woo, peanut jars. You want to do that outside, that, don't you? Do it outside or in your house. Wow, that is a. Do that in a well ventilated space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so we would we would coat a couple right. of coats. Right, cut a couple. Then you don't have to worry about, you can, if you don't want to coat it, just use it with dried flowers or artificial. But if you want to put water, a little rubber well, sealer, and your own. How long to dry, did you say? Um, their different products have different, okay. so just Dry follow times. the directions okay. easily. Perfect, perfect. So the next thing you want to do is, and this is so easy, is just glue gun your rocks on. Um, so, <laughs> why don't you start with these? Okay. All right. <laughs> and you know. Okay. And just yeah, use lots and lots of glue. You're going to cover it all up, so you don't have to worry about being neat. But you want to get a really heavy glue base that the rock can really sit Stit, into. Okay, so um, I would do something like that. Exactly. All right. All right. And just do like rock at a time. If you're doing some of the smaller stone, you can like get a a big goo, and mm -hmm. you can maybe do one or two rocks. And then you just let it sit. Yeah, you want to make sure you use lots of glue, and that you give it good. Dry, dry time. time. You also don't need to worry about getting them too close. Like here's one I oh. did with the gravel. And Why? We I don't want to see the green underneath there. But we're gonna fit, fill that in with grout. So don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be oh. easier if you leave a little bit, eighth inch, quarter inch. And I have to say, where I think for all you out there with. Um, kids that are home right mm -hmm. now and you don't know what to do with them, this is a really great summer project. You've got the tin cans already. If yeah. you're at the beach or you live, you know, end of a dentistry, have them go out, collect rocks for the summer. They can turn their found treasures into these amazing vases and it's a, a great project for kids. Well, I like this because I assume you can't really mess up or you can't can mess you? up. No? It's like rocks at a tin can. Like, right. if you mess up, it's not the, <laughs> not the end of the world. Rocks at a tin rocks can. Rocks at a tin can. That's how oh. I roll. <laughs> All right. So we get it finished and we're to this right. point. So you're What's to this next? point, and then you're gonna um, you're gonna grout it. And I know that sounds scary to some people, but what you want to do, you get this pre-mixed grout at the hardware store, and it's a couple of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, it's best to get the non-sanded grout. Um, sanded grout's a little bit chunkier, and it's for okay. in between big tiles. This will let you get into all the tiny. Is there color? Different you can color choose ones? colors. I just chose white. The white plant. Right. Okay. Um, and this is where you get a little messy, and the kids mm -hmm. are gonna love it. It's easiest if you just. Like my grandmother does with cake mm -hmm. batter. Mm. And does it just, taste like cake batter? It does not taste like cake oh, batter. Okay. <laughs> no. no that's <laughs> You're gonna trust me on that. <laughs> and then just with your fingers, just smooth it all in there. This is what the kids love. It's like. So you're putting it, now obviously everything is dried so the rocks aren't gonna come off. Exactly, and you're using the glue do. gun so it, it, yeah. it dries very quickly and you know, you'll lose a rock or two but don't worry about it. Okay. Um, and just smush it in, in between all your little crevices. Now you could use other, I mean you have rocks here that you could use, could you use stone, I guess it's more of a mosaic then, right, if you're using like it'd be more of a mosaic but you could do that or I think doing one that was fully done with seashells if you live at the yeah. beach or have a lake oh, house yeah, like, yeah, yeah. could be really nice and then yeah. once you get them kind of in there let it set up you don't want to let it set for too long because then you're not going to be able to get it off the surface but let it sit for maybe five minutes and let mm -hmm. it set up a little bit I'm going to go ahead and go in without okay get a bucket of water and just a good old kitchen sponge and then you're going to we've done this before when yeah. we're doing stepping stones yeah. and all that you're just going to wash off and what all that will do is it'll push the grout a little further bit further into the seams and, and it will. Right, exactly. Exposed. Not got, I'm losing one or two here because I didn't wait long enough, but. Yeah. Exactly. And then you're going to get that. There you go. 
that, wow. great, that great look. You know, it'd be nice too to, to do that in if you had just a glass and then did the stone but nothing else and the glass could be a candle and let the light kind of come through the... I tried that and unfortunately and it, when the candle heats up the wax, the, the glue gun, oh, so oh, boom, oh. boom, boom. <laughs> that's why I test these things so you don't that, have that problem at home. That's why you are <laughs> KennethWindgard.com. Let's look at the, the, the final ones. Look how beautiful that is, though. It's I know, and th this is a, a big look, you know, in especially yeah. weekend places or on your patio. Uh, it gives sure. that great rustic country charm.